Yeah. Well, I want to, uh, because we're doing uh, two films and we don't have a ton of time, I want to make sure and get the rest of the cast out and then make sure and have time, we have time for fan questions. So I want to bring out the supporting cast of Divergence. Um, this gentleman plays Chris's brother, Caleb. Uh, meet Ansel Eggert. These are uh, some of Chris's fellow novelist initiates. Uh, her best friend, Christina Zoe Gravis. Will Ben Lord Hughes, Edward Ben Lamb, and Al Christian Madsen, and Molly Amy Newball, and then Peter Miles Teller, and then uh, a couple of the Bob's story figures. Uh, the guy who plays Max is Mackay Viper, who's here. A story from the mysterious woman with all the secrets, Maggie Q. Uh, we, we did lots of 
working out together to impress us from fighting and choreography fights and uh, knife throwing and gun fighting. So that was a pretty good bonding experience. Yeah. Are you guys, uh, you also just finished, you guys just wrapped as well? Or? Yeah, we, we wrapped the other day, so. Yeah. So what do you think that the story means just in terms of like, you know, standing behind personal values, you know, rebellion against authority, like, what, what do you think the ultimate message is for people? Uh, I think, uh, for me, what I got struck by the story so much when I first read the script was young people choosing their future. That's what still sticks by me, with me, uh, when I think about the story. It's young people having the opportunity to decide their fate. And it's a, it's a decision that we will make at some point in our lives, whether small or big, and we choose where we're going to go and what we're going to do and, and how, what kind of person we want to be. And I think that Veronica really gets that moment in time so well in her story. And it's, it's a kind of uh, a momentous occasion in this world and, and in our world too. So is there a particular scene that this is out for you that you can say without spoiling anything? Uh, the, the dining hall scene is the one I keep on going back to. Um, you guys said crowd surf for about 45 minutes, which was amazing. They lift all the mountains in the shape of that. And the sea of people, the sea of mountains just get just crowd surfing. <laughs> so, it's amazing, yeah. Is that your favorite scene, Shane? Um, it was one of my favorite scenes. There was, there was such a high energy in that room that night. We did it towards the end of the day, so everybody was tired for the second you crowds Yeah, the second you crowds all of those years. And now I'm going to crowds for the third night. Thank you, Joe. Do it here. You could actually, you could make it all the way back. You could just, you could just, you could just push you onto the trolley and then you go away. <laughs> you know, if you, had, if you had a moment to process the film yet, do you need to get some distance from it before you? Yeah, I think so. I think that definitely feels like we finished two days ago, so um, to process it, I went to Vegas for a couple of days. Sure. I see what you do. Um, I, I read books, I went to museums, stuff like that. Yeah, all the Vegas things <laughs> they do. But um, in all seriousness, it, as Neil said, it is really great to see uh, something like that because, because it, it kind of gratifies what you've been doing for those months. And, and we really, really worked our asses off to make something that I think you'll all be really proud of. And it's a really special movie and it has a very um, iconic look to it. And, and I'm just looking forward to everyone seeing it. Really. Brian, is this what you, when you, when you see the footage and you're watching film and you see it, was this, was this essentially everything that you pictured when you were writing? The experience is really wonderful. I mean, when I write, I don't have the most detailed mind, which is something I'm working on. But, um, so, I kind of am like squinting and looking at things in a very blurry way. So seeing them actually like realized in an incredibly detailed way, it was really wonderful. I mean, I remember just freaking out over like the syringes with their kind of snake people in the neck with, and like the chairs are sitting in, and just all the set pieces were so lovingly crafted by our wonderful crew. And I don't know, it's just like, it was incredible. So, it, to me, it's uh, a very true to the book, and also a surprise, which is a, kind of a rare combination. Yeah. I want to make sure we have time for fan questions. Uh, if you have a question, I assume you're probably already lined up. Um, so let's let's start. Who's first? Who will step forth first? <laughs> really? Someone's not a dollar. <laughs> can't get up to a microphone and ask a question. Um, oh, there you go. Yes. What is your name and what is your question? Questions for Veronica. What did you see in the movie as it was being made that you didn't see when you wrote the book? Well, that's a tough question. Besides so, talking with living people. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, did I, what did you see? Like, what in the, in the filming was there stuff that you know, stuff that was brought out that you initially were like, oh my god, I didn't realize that was in the book, but I guess it's in the book. Oh man, I know I wrote this book so well and read it so many times. <laughs> that I sometimes want to forget it, but uh, <laughs> I don't know, I think there's kind of what I'm talking about, I was talking about earlier, like some of those details that I just have lost because it's been a couple of years since I wrote it. 
that have, I don't know, they're really awesome. I remember being really surprised by the water tank. You could be aware of know that yeah. Yeah. there was space in where she was surrounding in a water tank. And I kind of forgot about that part, and then I saw the actual water tank being filled with actual water, and Jaylene actually like swimming in it. I was like, oh my god. Excellent. Thanks. Next question. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Mandy. What's your question, Mandy? If you guys did any physical preparation, what kind of physical preparation did you do? Like Krav Maga, Muay Thai, kickboxing? I want to see how many forms of martial arts combat you can miss. Karate, Kung Fu. <laughs> we did, uh, we did about two to three weeks of Muay Thai training. Did you get paired with those knuckle uh, And it was grueling, like Ben was talking about. I mean, it was a great body experience as well. I think mean, that first day we all got in the van, we were like, hey, 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 hey. Just getting to know each other. And then uh, after about two weeks of like, working out with each other and boxing and, you know, learning to do style of fighting together, and we just, after, you know, the last couple weeks, we just, like, start patting each other back, get to know each other, and it's like, so. Someone takes their shirt off, gets a bit steamy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep going. 